Hey, what's up, y'all? Charlie here. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my strawberry cream cheese ice box pie. Look at that. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Um, this pie is made with real strawberries. It has condensed milk, eggs, sugar, flavoring, and it has a whipped cream cheese topping that you're gonna love. Uh, it serves about eight to ten people, and what can I say? It's delicious too. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all, here's all what y'all gonna need to make y'all strawberry ice box pie. Let's get started with our ingredients. You're gonna need some uh, graham crackers, unsalted butter, sugar, salt, two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk, five large eggs at room temperature, one pound of frozen strawberries thawed, one large lemon, heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, confection sugar, and some vanilla extract. And to bake your pie, you're going to need a 9 inch round deep dish pie pan. Y'all, now I know that my recipe called for you to use two 14 ounce cans of this sweetened condensed milk. But let's say for instance, if you don't have a deep dish pie pan and you have a small pie pan, you could just use only one can and you'll be good to go, okay? And you will also need a disposable piping bag with the tip cut off. Um, Wilton number 1M tip and the attachments to that as well, a small mesh strainer, and a food processor. And there you go. All right, now let's get started with our graham cracker crust. In a food processor, we're going to um, add nine graham crackers. As you can see, I broke them up into small pieces here. And we're just going to add that into the food processor. And we're going to blend this for about 30 seconds to one minute. And this is how it looks when we're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Alright, we transferred our graham cracker crumbs into a medium sized bowl. And see that we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. Seven tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's gonna be for flavor. I'm gonna take my wooden spoon and I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Just gonna stir this until it comes together. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, crumbs should be uh, nice and moist. Okay, so look for that. Now we're going to add our graham cracker crumbs into our deep dish pie pan. Perfect. Now we're just going to take our hands and we're just going to form the crust. Just going to press along the bottom. And we're also going to bring it up the sides as well. Hmm. All right, perfect. Now, before we bake this, I just want to let y'all know that this is um, a thin crust. It's not too thick. It's just the right size. And uh, if you want a thicker crust, you can add more graham crackers to the recipe. But you'll have to use your judgmental skills to determine how much extra butter that you're going to need as well, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and place this into a preheated 350 degree oven. And we're going to bake it for about 7 minutes. Alright, it's been about 7 minutes now and our graham cracker crust is done. Let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Now we're going to let this cool completely. This can take anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour or maybe more. Alright, here we are with the food processor again. Now we're going to add our uh, frozen strawberries thawed. Make sure your strawberries are thawed right on in there. And we're just going to blend the strawberries until they're pureed. And I'm going to give you the blend time when I get finished. All right, this took no less than one minute. 
All right, so in a small pot, we're gonna add our strawberry puree. All right, and to that, we're gonna add two third cup of sugar. All right, here we have uh, one large lemon. We're just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And here I have a mesh strainer. We're gonna squeeze a half a lemon. Now we're going to give this a quick stir. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, let this cook down until most of the water has been removed. And I'll give you the cooking time shortly. All right, y'all, let my mixture cook down. And I cooked it for about 12 minutes. All right. Now, it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes depending on the type of strawberries that you're using because mine released a lot of juice so it took a little bit longer than usual some released less juice which could take a shorter period of time and also keep in mind your pot and your stove as well okay in regards to the cooking times just want to pay attention you want to make sure that your mixture is thick that's exactly what we're looking for all right make sure that it is it has thickened this is the pattern that we're looking for right here Now you're going to let your strawberry uh, sauce mixture cool off in your pot for about 40 minutes to an hour. Alright, now we're going to separate five large eggs at room temperature. Now we're going to take our egg whites and we're just going to place them in one small bowl. And we're going to take our egg yolks and place that into a separate bowl. Alright, now stand mixer fit with the paddle attachment. We're going to add two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Get your spatula to get that on in there. And to that, we're gonna add five egg yolks at room temperature. And we're gonna mix this on a medium speed until combined. strawberry puree just pour it all in there get your spatula to help you get that in there all right and to that we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one eighth teaspoon of salt that's to cut the real real sweetness and we're going to mix this on high speed for about three minutes Now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take my um, pie filling and I'm just going to add that into my pre-baked graham cracker crust pie shell. Now we're going to go ahead and place this into a preheated 350 degree oven. We're going to bake it for like 20 to 25 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes now and our pie is done. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out the oven. Now, if you tap your pie pan and if it slightly jiggles in the center or if it doesn't jiggle at all, your pie is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool completely. Now there is really no estimated time. It could take about one to two or possibly more hours. Okay. Now once the pie has cooled completely, place it into your refrigerator for about three to six hours or overnight. All right, let's make our whipped cream cheese topping. Now in a stand mixer bowl fitted with the whisk attachment, I did put my uh, stand mixer bowl in my refrigerator to get it cold and everything. So let's get started. Are you going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream? Let's get your spatula 
get that on in there. All right, and to that, we're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is soft and at room temperature. That's gonna help mix it, uh, help the cream cheese mix into the uh, whipping cream a lot easier. And to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of confectioner sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna start my mixer on a medium low speed just to get everything incorporated. Then I'm gonna turn my mixer up to the highest setting and I'm gonna mix um, this on high speed for a few minutes. And once I'm done, I'm gonna give you the, uh, the mixing time. We're done now this took no more than 30 seconds it really, really didn't take that long just gonna add our little cream cheese mixture into our disposable piping bag make sure it's fitted with the <clears throat> well to number one M tip and from there, we could just pipe our mixture on top of our pie. All right, here is the final presentation. As you can see, that's the crust at the bottom with the filling and the topping. Got a nice little cross section for you right there. And this is my piece right here. <laughs> now for some um, troubleshoot, um, you want to make sure that you keep this pie in your refrigerator at all times. Um, if you want to serve this pie, you take it out to your refrigerator, sit it on your table, and let it sit out for about 10 to 15 minutes before serving. Because if you just take it out of the refrigerator and just try to serve it, um, your pie crust might stick to the um to the pan so you want to be careful with that um if you're still having trouble just take this place it onto your stove preheat your fire to a medium heat and let it sit for about five seconds and then turn your fire off and then let it sit so that way the pie can easily come out of the pan okay um also the uh with the topping you want to make sure that you uh, only mix the topping on high speed for about 20 to 30 seconds. Don't over mix it because if you over mix it, it's going to turn out runny. Okay. And that is it. All right. Now let me go ahead and have a taste of this right quick. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta tell y'all this. This pie literally melts in your mouth. It is so good. It has a nice strawberry flavor. That crust is real thin, so that helps too. It's, oh, and that cream cheese topping, oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. It is on point. It will literally melt in your mouth. Pie is that good. So, give the recipe a try. Oh, and by the way, if you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Um, I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one, www.charliecookandrews.com. I'm also on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh.